Hello beautiful moms and lovely kids. Welcome to our channel Little Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today in this video we are going to learn addition with the help of an interesting activity. So let's start. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil and a pair of scissors. Aim of this art integrated project is to learn addition of one digit numbers and two digit numbers with the help of an activity. Now let's start with the activity. In the first step, take a red sheet of paper and draw small circles on it as shown here. Then carefully cut out these circles using pair of scissors. You may take your parents help to cut out these circles. In the next step, take a blue colored sheet and draw small squares on it and then carefully cut out these squares using pair of scissors. We have another very interesting activity to learn and understand odd and even numbers. So I would recommend you to watch this video. So we have cut out circles which we are going to use to represent 1 and we have also cut out squares which we will use to represent 10. So 1 circle equals to 1, 2 circles equals to 2, 3 circles equals to 3 and 4 circles equals to 4. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like and share our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Little Notebook. So it means if we have to represent number 5, we can put 5 circles. So to represent 10, we can use 10 circles, but we have also cut out squares and each square represent 10. So instead of using 10 circles, we can use 1 square. So to represent 20, we will use 2 squares. In the same way, to represent 30, we will use 3 squares and so on. So let's see how to add one digit numbers with the help of this activity. We will add 5 and 2. To add these two numbers, first let's write them vertically. Now, to represent 5, we will put 5 circles. In the same way, to represent 2, we will put 2 circles. Now let's add. To add these two numbers, we will count these red circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are 7 circles. So it means 5 plus 2 equals to 7. Now let's do one more question. This time we will add 6 and 3. So first write them vertically. 
Now to represent 6, we will put how many circles? 6 circles. In the same way, put 3 circles to represent number 3. Now let's add them. To add, we will count these circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our answer is 9. 6 plus 3 equals to 9. We also have lot of worksheets for kids for addition, subtraction, multiplication as well as for counting. I would recommend you to watch these videos. Now let's see how to add two digit numbers using this activity. Question is 13 plus 12 equals to how much? To add these two numbers, first write them vertically. Now let's first represent 13. First we will represent 3. For this we will put 3 circles. Now represent 1 which is at tens place. 1 tens equals to 10 and to represent 10 we have a square. So let's put 1 square to represent 1. Now students let's represent second number which is 12. So first we will represent 2 by putting two circles. Then again we have one at tens place. So let's put one square. Now let's add them. To add first count the circles. Kids we already have three circles here. So let's count further. 4, 5. So write 5 at once place. So 3 plus 2 equals to 5. Now count the squares. 1, 2. Write 2 at tens place. So 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So our answer is 13 plus 12 equals to 25. Now let's do one more question. 24 plus 5. To add these two numbers, first let's write them vertically. Now first we will represent 24. 4 is at 1's place. So to represent 4, we will put 4 circles. Now look at 2, which is at 10's place. And 2 tens equals to 20. So we will put 2 squares. Now let's represent next number which is 5 and 5 is at 1's place. So let's put 5 circles. Now let's add them. To add we will count the red circles first. Kids we already have 4 here. So let's count further 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
So write nine at one's place. So four plus five equals to nine. Now let's count the number of blue squares, which are only two. So we will write two at tens place. So it means twenty four plus five equals to twenty nine. We also have beautiful and interesting activities to learn about shapes: circle, triangle, square, rectangle, and oval. We have another activity to learn how to draw scene these using shapes. So I would recommend you to watch these videos. Now let's learn how to make ten and add. Question is thirty-five plus seven equals to how much? To add these two numbers. Let's first write them vertically. We will represent thirty-five first. So let's start with one's place. We will represent five by putting five circles. Now we have three at tens place. And three tens equals to thirty. So we will put three squares. Now let's move to second number, which is seven. We will represent it by putting seven circles. Here we do not have anything at tens place. Now let's add them. To add, first we will count the circles. We already have five circles here, so let's count further. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So five plus seven equals to twelve. But kids, we cannot write two digits here. And I told you that ten ones equals to one tens. So we will carry one to the tens place. And to represent this one carry, we will put one square. Now let's add tens place. We have. Three squares here, and plus one square equals to four. So thirty-five plus seven equals to forty-two. Now let's do one more example, and this time we will add thirty-six and twenty-four. To add these two numbers, first write them vertically. Now let's represent number thirty-six. Start from one's place. We will represent six by putting six circles. Now move to tens place. Here we have three, and three tens equals to thirty. So we will put. Three squares. Now let's move to second number twenty-four. Here we have four at one's place, so let's put four circles. Let's move to tens place. Here we have two, and two tens equals to twenty, so put two squares. Now let's. Add them. First, let's add the circles. We already have six circles here, so count further: seven, 
eight, nine, ten. So six plus four equals to ten. But as I told you, we cannot write two digits here. And ten ones equals to one tens. So let's carry one to the tens place. And to represent this one carry, we will put one square. Now let's add tens place. We have three squares here. So four, five, and one carry. It means six. So thirty six plus twenty four equals to sixty. So kids, this is the end of our video, and I'm sure you enjoyed this activity. Please share my channel and my videos further. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.